This is the pure joy of yo-yoing. But there is also an art and a real science to making the next generation of the greatest yo-yos. Welcome to the Yo-Yo Factory, located right here in Chandler, Arizona. I'm going to take you on a quick tour. Call it a peek behind the curtain to see who's really pulling the strings. In order to make yo-yos, you have to have a little bit of knowledge about the history of where yo-yos came from in order to make better yo-yos for the future. And I'm obsessed with the history of yo-yos. So this is basically a timeline um, that I've been doing the research to find out. Where do yo-yos come from? And it's a bit of a family affair here at the yo-yo factory. This is my dad. He's our, he's our engineer. And he'll, he'll take a 3D um, drawing and we'll, we can make prototypes and within 48 hours be playing with the yo-yos that he's designing on the computer. This is my mom, Kathleen, and she helps us put together a, a lot of the projects. I'm going to show you how a yo-yo is made. We're going to start from the basic sketch all the way to the finished part and the process in between. Making a yo-yo, it's, it's very precise. It's actually um, one decimal point beyond aerospace in order to make a yo-yo spin true and smooth. A yo-yo must be born spinning. So we'll start with a bar stock, and we spin the bar stock, and then we come in and carve and shape the bar stock until we end up with a yo-yo half. This is the sketch, or the CAD drawing. So we'll shape and try and figure out how we want the yo-yo to be shaped. And then what we're gonna do right now is animate how a yo-yo is carved out of metal this is what's happening inside the machine as the bar stock is spinning. It's carving away, carving away. We call this side A. And then we go into a different machine. We do the back side where the bearing and the pads and the string all play. So when you think about a yo-yo, you always think about the finished half. But when a designer thinks about a yo-yo, we're thinking about what the yo-yo looks like in the cross section. A modern yo-yo is made up of two halves a bearing, an axle, and some rubber pads to help the yo-yo come back. Yo-yo spin at over 10,000 RPM, but you need a little rubber pad in order to help the yo-yo to come back to your hand. Right? There's the bearing. I'm going to put the axle in. And then the most important part, string. A world without string is chaos. Now we're going to show you how a yo-yo spins. We actually have a small store set up so that if you come and visit the yo-yo factory, we can teach you how to use a yo-yo and of course you could buy one. The next thing, we want the yo-yo to be wound up in your hand so that it can unroll. Han says, don't let the yo-yo intimidate you. Just give him 30 minutes. So step one is to make the yo-yo spin. You'll notice I send it right off the tip of my finger. Nice. Step two, twist your wrist. Step three, tug and catch. And you'll notice I'm not even holding the yo-yo. It's going to go out and back to our hand. Nice. We're going to make it spin all the way around and then catch it. Nice. Well done. Around the world. You nailed it. <laughs>